ancient megalithic ruins with laser sharp cuts were found underwater in Japan. The uh, Japan's ancient underwater pyramid mystified scholars. These are the Yonaguni monuments, also known as the Yonaguni submarine ruins. They are just about 70 feet underwater, under the surface of the water. It's a prehistoric submerged rock formation that's formed in weird large clusters up to five floors high. And it is highly believed to be a completely man-made artificial structure. Let's remember that uh, in the Ice Age, the uh, water level was 600 feet lower than it is today. For example, a lot of the islands in the Aegean Sea of Greece were connected. So 600 feet lower sea level. This was only 70 feet below sea level that these things were found. So obviously, at one point in time, they were way above sea level. Now, the terraced formations were discovered off the coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan by the divers in 1986. It was already known as a popular diving location during the winter months because of its large population of hammerhead sharks. Apart from its strange appearance, there were found some artifacts that prove the existence of humans at the region in the distant past. Marine geologist Masaki Kimura from the University of Ryukyu's, whose group was the first to visit the formation, claims that the formations are man-made, complicated monoliths that are actually the ruins of a Japanese Atlantis, an ancient city sunk by an earthquake about 2,000 years ago. So, back in 1986, 25 meters below sea level, about 70 feet down from the surface of the coast of Japan's Yonaguni Island, local divers Kihachiro Arataki spotted the series of almost perfectly carved steps with straight edges known today as the Yonaguni Monument and the rectangular rock formations measures about 100 meters by 60 meters, standing at about 25 meters tall. Now, while some strongly believe these strange rock formations are man-made from the prehistoric era, if we suppose this claim, the monument structure could belong to the pre-glacial civilizations. The seabed formations resembling architectural structures consist of medium to very fine sandstone and mudstone of the early Miocene. Yayama group believed to have been deposited about 20 million years ago. And here we have an image of the carved steps with straight edges, could be seen on top of the Yunagumi monument. And also you can see, obviously, they're, they're, they must have been carved. Now, the most attractive and strange feature is the rectangular shape formation measuring about 150 by 40 meters and about 27 meters tall at the top and is about 5 meters below the sea level. Five meters, it's only about five, 15 feet below sea level. That's nothing. You could all, actually, if you were on a boat, you would see them under you. Now, this is the largest structure that looks like a complicated monolithic stepped, stepped pyramid. Some of the details are said to be these. Two closely spaced pillars which rise to within two and a half meters of the surface. A five meter wide ed ledge that encircles the base of the formation on three three sides, a stone column about seven meters tall, a straight wall 10 meters long, an isolated boulder resting on a low platform, a low star-shaped platform, a triangular depression with two large holes in its edge, an L-shaped rock. Now, on the other hand, some of those who have studied the formation, such as geologist Robert Schosch from the Boston University, oceanic geoscience professor Patrick D. Nunn, from the University of the South Pacific suggests that it is either a completely natural formation or it was a natural rock structure that was later possibly used and modified by humans in the past. Therefore, there is a great debate about whether the Yonaguni submarine ruins is completely natural, a natural site that has been modified, or a man-made artifact. However, neither the Japanese Agency for Cultural Affairs nor the government of Okinawa Prefecture recognizes the features as an important cultural artifact, and neither government agencies carried out research or preservation work on the site. Actually, the Yonaguni Monument reminds us of another mysterious and more sensational undersea structure, the Baltic Sea Anomaly, which is believed to be a wreck 
of an ancient alien ship. Now, however, if you are so fascinated with the lost undersea cities or strange ancient structures, you can visit the Yonaguni Island. No doubt the island is bound with a lot of beautiful sea scenes, sea scenes, quiet nature, and plenty of hidden mysteries. This 28 square kilometer island is also known as Dunan in the local language. It's located 125 kilometers from Taiwan and 127 kilometers from Ishigaki Island and it is the westernmost point of Japan. And to know more about the island of Yonaguni or to explore some of the other active, attractive places on the island, you can visit the link here below. So what do you think this is? I think it was definitely constructed, man-made, cut out from perhaps a mountain side. Uh, but definitely these things look as if they're steps and cut out not only by people that look like as small as we are, but perhaps by giants. Uh, this is on uh, Collective Spark by N. Hale from Ancient Mysteries. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.